Why, hello there, y'all. How's it going today? Uh, I was just wondering if uh, I think it'd be a good time to watch a queen for a little bit. What you think? This one's in the process of a laying. Very actively. Let's see, where'd she go? Okay, she's in the middle of the camera now almost. Oh, and she's marked, so once again, this isn't hard, but just watch her behaviors. Watch her actions. She's been laying up a few, so. Come on, sunlight. Direct her back this way. Remember that about the sun? <laughs> yeah, we're using that a little bit today in our favor. And sorry about the angle here. Uh, this isn't going to be very good. Maybe we can edit this. But yeah, just kind of watch how she acts and behaves. Notice the sunlight? Boom. She's like, forget the sun. The bees are really out today. It's super nice. It's probably 75 right now. And is she going to go to the other side? She won't do it from the top edge, but she might the bottom. He's like, get out of my way. This bulldozer groundhog, excuse me. Alright. Sometimes they crawl over the workers, but 90% of the time they won't. She getting ready to pick a cell to land? This is a New River Carnica Queen. Um, here are the gentleman that runs that breeding program. These, uh, the queens he got was from Sue Colby out in Washington State, out at Washington State University. And Sue Colby actually went over to Europe to get a lot of the, the genetics from over there and this is not directly from Sue Colby's line but uh, New River Queens is so 
these are some very very pure well as close to pure as you're gonna get his were open mated but his location and stuff he uh he's pretty far from a lot of other beekeepers and like this queen here she was a virgin that I bought off of them and uh, so there's not a number on the marking but all the bees that I had in my apiary were Russian and Caucasian so the eggs that this queen is laying now this queen is a New River Carnica but uh, the egg she's laying is Carnica Russian and Caucasian so they're they're mainly really dark bees so and now I got well here I got rid of the Caucasian line I sold them and uh, I don't know they they're a good bee and everything but um, as far as health and performance the Russians and Karnikas are better from what I could see. Just from what I was doing. Every, every beekeeper is different though, you know. Other people might do better with the Caucasians, but I liked them. They used to be my favorite, but because they could handle some bad weather. But um, there were other traits that just they didn't produce as much honey they you had to learn how to manipulate them a little better so see how relaxed she is now she's not flying across the comb and stuff this is just super good, just to watch her. So, all right, well, watch this video, watch it again and again, and I have a few other ones. I just call them imprinting, because it's like imprinting her image into your mind and stuff. So, here, uh, it's something that you need to train your eye for, no matter what, you know? I mean, if you're gonna be a beekeeper, whether you mark your queens or not, I don't mark mine anymore because now, you know, I can spot queens relatively easy. Uh, I'll get them 90% on the first time through a hive. If I have to go through the second time, usually it's, it's like 95 to 99% of the time I'll get her. Um, last year, I think there might have been once that I couldn't find the queen like by the third pass through i don't think and i've never went past three times going through a hive it's if i have to go through three times good gracious <laughs> i ain't gonna do that so but okay well y'all have a good weekend we'll see y'all bye